Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum Classic, also heavily requested and to be honest it's an outstanding performance that Ethereum Classic has delivered here. I haven't covered it for a while now, um, but we, it's time for an update, especially due to this move to the upside here that we can see. And at the moment we can assume that this low was already in here. Uh, as I told you, we were I think somewhere up here. I do expect a move down into the region between 32.88 and $23, yeah, quite a large retracement area. Uh, but at any point here, at any of these FIB levels, when you're looking at this, you need to be aware that the uh, price can reverse, especially if you reach the retracement, if you reach that green area, that's what the area is for. It's the area where at any point in time, the um, correction can be finished. In this case, a wave two correction. And yeah, we can count this as complete as well. Um, and that's why I put it on the chart. Now, the, the area was quite large because we were looking here at the area between the 38.2% FIP level at $32.80 roughly and the 61.8% FIP level all the way down to the way four low actually. Um, because normally, well not normally, but often you see that when you have an extended wave five, what we had here, when you get that, then um, oftentimes when the price retraces in a wave two, it comes down all the way to the way for low. So we had to have it on the chart as a possibility. Uh, well, it didn't. It was actually much more bullish. It only retraced to the 38.2% FIB level, took the first FIB level, to, took the um, took the first resistance of the, or the first support of this target range as support and started to move up. So scenario fulfilled. Yeah, we, that was a dog. We came down in this wave two. Um, and that's also why I always show you these channels yeah, in, a, in a correction. When you break above such a channel, like an impulsive channel here in this wave C, that was an impulsive channel. When you break above that, it's a good signal that it's over, okay? Now, since then, obviously, it's had, it has developed a little bit further. And we have also broken just today above the wave B high at 41.52. And that's the next good signal that the wave two was already in. So we can actually now assume that we might get higher in a wave three. Now, I personally thought it would go a little bit lower, but it reached my target range, so scenario fulfilled there. Yeah. Now, now moving up in the wave three, I think, this will become um, clearer, even clearer. I mean, we've already, okay, we, we have touched the target area reversed bullish, first indication. We broke out of the channel, second indication. We broke above the wave B, third indication. We've got volume, okay? So the wave three could now be unfolding here. And uh, this is obviously um, the larger wave three. Now this could really push, okay? This could really push. I think that we could expect this now to reach, uh, to reach $86 as a minimum, okay? Now, there is one very, very important factor here, guys. One very important factor. And this is a key resistance area. This is the $52.50 level. If you get, or if we get above this level, it will pretty much eliminate. Now, eliminate is a strong word, but make it very, very likely that there will not be another lower low for Ethereum Classic, that the correction is, is done, that we are not going to see a lower low. And to be honest, it's already getting quite likely now that because we moved up in wave five, we came down in three waves. That's the wave two I always talk about. When you finish off a wave two like that on a first higher level relevant time frame, then and then you see a first impulsive move to the upside. That's the best evidence you get. And if we then also move above this previous swing high, then yeah, there's pretty much the evidence there. So here I would even say now, because we have moved out of this green area, I would give it now a 70 to 75% probability that the low is already in. Or well, let's keep it to 70%. I would increase it possibly to 75 to 80 if we go above $52 and uh, yeah, 50. Okay, and that's my update about Ethereum Classic. So hopefully um, you like the update. Um, congratulations to anyone who had any buy limit order set um, here in this area. And uh, yeah, enjoy the ride, enjoy the roller coaster, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.